Welcome to the Daily Jing for Wednesday, March 22nd. Here's the quote of the day. If you don't have time to read, you don't have time or the tools to write. Simple as that. Stephen King. You should pick up his book on writing. Um, I forget the name of it right now, but it's really, it's really pretty good. It, uh, you know, he talks about his early years and his struggle and the the accident he was in when he was almost killed, and uh, it's really interesting. Okay, so let's look at the schedule. <clears throat> Here's the eighth week. And we're doing the cross uh, discussion today or for this week. Also, the familiar essay uh, first draft is due uh, Friday or by Monday at 6 a.m. Make sure that you post it to your uh, to Google and share it with your group members and with me. Okay. And then next week I'll be reading the papers. So let's go back to the notes. Here's a little bit something. Um, I suspect that most of you are at least thinking about your familiar essay paper, if not already started to write it. Before you get too far into it, look at how, how you might begin the draft. Make sure that you have put your reader in time and place and given him all the details, him, her, all the details you can in order that he might see a picture of you and, and the sports you play. We want everything up front so that we can see how playing this sport affects you. Don't make the mistake of hiding the effect the sport has on you until the end. This is important. What you do in response to playing your sport, how it affects your character or personality, or just how it affects your psychology, um, how it how it takes you from one place and changes you and puts you in another place. That's what we're really interested in. So that's what you should write about, and you should be concentrating on. You should be concentrating on this and not the sport itself. In other words, if you're going to tell us about a game, a really great game that you participated in, like the championship game or something, you know, it's not enough just to narrate what happened in the game. You have to um, tell us about what, how it affects you and why why it matters uh, in a more personal sort of way. And not just that you won, but that there was some other more um, complicated reason, uh, you know, for playing the game that that is really outside of the game that that well, points to something outside of the game. Okay? All right, I'll be talking about this some more. So the question, question of the day is, when is the first draft of the familiar essay due? And it's due Friday or by Monday at 6 a.m. All right, thanks. Bye.